Hey family, welcome back to Transcend with Ebony. It's Ebony here dropping by with another quick message. Welcome, welcome. Um, well, welcome back everyone. If this happens to be your first time here, welcome, welcome. Um, today's message is stop doubting your worthiness. Stop doubting your worthiness. Stop doubting the fact that you are worthy enough to actually receive the very thing that you've been asking and praying and longing for God to give you. And this could be a number of things. This can be um, a tangible item. It can be a living circumstance. It can be a relationship. It can be anything in the world. Whatever you have been praying and asking God for. And now that it has come time for you to receive that thing, instead of sitting there with your hands wide open with an expectancy and acceptance, knowing that you deserve this and God wants to bless you with this, you start to doubt yourself. It's like you, you long so long for it. You just long for it. You yearn for this thing. You want this thing so bad and you've prayed and you, you've, um, you begged God for this thing. You have asked him for this thing off and on for a very long time now. And one of the main reasons you hadn't got it yet is because you doubt your worthiness of that thing. But God is saying he's giving it to you. He's releasing it to you because you deserve it. Know that you deserve it. No, you must know deep down within with a sure heart that you deserve that thing. That's why God put it on your heart for you to desire in the first place, because that is something that he has for you. See, when you saw the vision of yourself having that thing, that situation, circumstance, relationship, whatever it may be for you, it was because God blew that thing into your spirit because he was giving you a snippet or a glimpse of what he actually had for you. That's would um made you develop this longing this this um this need this constant need or desire for that thing and i'm not saying that whoever wants or needs something is because you know god has that for you but you who i'm talking to that is the case now there are certain individuals that want things that they just don't need at all that would be detrimental to them so i'm not talking about those individuals but you know then again if it don't apply let it fly but to you on the other end of this camera right now i'm talking to you god put those things on your heart god put those things on your on your spirit because that's what he has for you so he was just simply giving you a snippet of a, or a preview of what's to come so continue to have faith in that thing live live and walk in expectancy and also know and believe that you are worthy you are deserving of that thing Stop doubting yourself because when you start, when you doubt your worth and you doubt your worthiness of having such things, then that's when you begin to subconsciously self-sabotage yourself, your life in certain situations where the manifestation of that thing is about to actually manifest, is about to come to in your natural circumstances. For instance, if it's a loving relationship. Let's just say that you've been you've been cheated on, you've been lied to in multiple uh, situations or relationships, maybe maybe even just one, maybe a person that you really gave your all to, you gave your heart to, this individual hurt you. So deep down inside, instead of releasing that to God and allowing him to, um, you know, heal you and still knowing who you are in Christ, who you are to God and knowing that God actually has love for you because you are deserving of love. See, because just because another person hurt you and broke your heart or neglected you, mistreated you, abandoned you, left you, cheated on you, whatever the situation may be, that don't mean that you don't deserve love. That was just a reflection of that individual's inability to love you. See, like a wise woman um, once said, I heard this recently and it just made something click um, because it's so true. So many times throughout our lives and situations and circumstances and relationships, we find ourselves in positions to where we are trying to teach people how to treat us right. How we try and teach people how to love us right. How we teach people how to handle us with care, how to handle us properly, how to treat us properly. We're wasting our time because for one, these individuals know how to treat another person right. These individuals just simply choose not to do so. The individuals, individuals know how to treat you, right? They know how to cherish you. They know how to love you. They know how to uh, respect you. They know how to, um, you know, encourage you. They know how to do all these things, but individuals that 
abandon you, neglect you, mistreat you, cheat on you, lie to you, whatever the matter may be, they purposely chose to do that. They chose not to treat you right. So stop, don't drain your, don't allow your energy to be drained. Don't overexert yourself trying to teach them how to love you correctly because it'll never happen. And that has nothing to do with you. That's a them problem, not a you problem. But see, you continue to, you straighten that crown, you hold your head up high, stick that chest out, and you keep on walking in your worthiness, in your authority, because you are a child of God and God wants nothing but the best for his children. For my parents out there, now, if there were no limitations, no financial limitations, no time limits, nothing like that, wouldn't you make sure that your kids had nothing but the best of everything? Because that's in your heart. That's what you want to provide for them. You are God's child. That's how he sees you. God wants us to have nothing but the best of everything. But we must know that we deserve it. That's like, for instance, you've been praying and asking God for a particular kind of car. And I'm not saying nothing outrageous, but it's a nice car. You know, it's a car that you really, your heart desires and you really, really want this thing. You could just picture yourself driving down the highway in that thing with your hair blowing in the wind or whatever the situation may be. And God is providing because he, he told you that he was going to provide the, the financial, you know, the, the provision for you to get that thing. Okay. And now he's done that. And let's say you jump in the car or you, somebody's getting ready to take you to go purchase that car. But then your mind starts going the opposite directions. Oh, well, you know what? Uh, I'll just settle for something else. You know, I don't need that. I don't need that. You start trying to talk yourself out of it. The devil is a lie. See, that is a reflection of you doubting your worthiness. Now, I'm not saying, you know, there's certain times, certain instances, we do have to talk ourselves down and out of certain situations because sometimes we don't need that thing. But if it's something, you know, you have worked hard, you don't, you don't go out there and you don't splurge money on things that are, you know, nonsense. You're actually very frugal. Um, you know, when it comes to spending, you, you handle your business, you work really hard, you do what you have to do. And God has provided the means for you to have this thing. Don't talk yourself out of it. Just like you've longed for love and a really loving, um, reciprocal give, uh, you know, equal give and take type of relationship where another individual is willing to compromise and pour into you, which you're pouring into them, if not more. Um, and then, you know, you meet someone that appears to have all these characteristics, but then it's like you go in into that hermit mode and you go and hide because you're afraid of being hurt because you feel unworthy because that last individual that you were with broke your heart. Stop self-sabotaging and start knowing and accepting who you are. You have to, you have to rebuild that confidence and know you are worthy. You are deserving. If you have to say these affirmations to yourself every day, this is something that I've had to do. And when I don't do it, I can tell the difference because then my mind begins to go in different directions. But when you want to grab control of your mind and you want to focus on a more positive uh, mindset and outlook on life, affirm things over your life. Start telling yourself, wake up in the morning. When you're brushing your teeth in the mirror, when you're in the shower, when you're getting out the shower, when you're getting dressed, when you're cleaning up, when you're driving down the highway. I am worthy of greatness. Matter of fact, I am greatness because greatness lives on the inside of me. I am successful. I am worthy of love and respect. You know, I am, uh, I am a child of God and my father wants nothing but the best for me. Therefore, it's nothing but the best that I shall have. I am worthy of my dream home. I am worthy of being a multi-billion dollar business owner. I am worthy of success. I am worthy of love. I am worthy of having a beautiful family. I am worthy of having peace. I am abundant. I am prosperous. I am the lender and not the borrower. I am the head and not the tail. I am above and not beneath. My father said that I shall lend to many nations and I shall borrow from none. So when those loan companies call you or text you or, or send you emails and, and, and ads in the mail talking about come get this loan now, such as that, mm -mm, you better Cast that thing down. The devil is alive. I am the lender and not the borrower. I am the head and not the tail. I am above and not beneath. Even if that bank account has zero, uh, nothing but zeros in it. You have to affirm that thing because, see, unlike the world, see, when the world, with the world, it's one way. They'll tell you, you know what? 
I got to see it till I, I got to see it before I believe it. Mm -mm. In the kingdom of God, it's completely opposite. You have to believe it and then you'll receive it. So when you see that thing in your mind and you act as if you already have that thing, that's when you're going to see it manifest in your life. That's exactly when you're going to see it manifest in your life. So stop doubting yourself. Know who you are in Christ. Know who you are to God. You are a child of God. You are a royal priesthood. Know that you deserve it. You deserve nothing but the best. And that's what God has for you. And that's what is yours. Just open your hands and receive it by faith now in the mighty name of Jesus. So, you know what? I pray that this quick message blesses someone and encourages someone. Please don't hesitate to hit that like, share, and subscribe button as well as turn your notification bell so you're notified whenever I release any new content. And um, if you feel led to be a blessing to the channel or to sow a seed or to uh, support in any way, shape, or form, the ways that you could do that are down in the description box. I love you. God loves you. God bless you. Talk to you soon. Till next time.